So we're out here in Jungle Mania and I've got DJ Dextrous, the king of the jungle, and Cool FM's Brocky. Guys, um, I mean, I think it's amazing both to have both together at Jungle Mania because, you know, two of you are definitely your pioneers for the sound. How do you both feel being in something like Jungle Mania and how does it feel based on like the jungle races of the mid 90s? Um, well, for me, it's a beautiful thing. You know, 20 years down the line, they're still getting three, 4,000 people coming out to the music. Um, it's got, you know, it's this new thing called New School Jungle now, which is um, evolving it. So it's a great thing, it's a beautiful thing, man. Um, very hard to answer that one. <laughs> it's the first time for a long time that I've been out to a jungle rave, um, and it's really nice. Really good to see a great turnout. Um, good to see some old faces, and I'm going to emphasize the old, because we're getting old. Uh, but it's really nice, really nice to see some old faces. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's good to hear the music still thriving and it's good to know that you know you've been part of the whole framework of the thing and it's and it's still growing so it's nice no, it's great really good really good brocky you're half of one of i'd say one of the most famous jungle and um dj and mc combinations what do you think the secret is to your success and why do you think that brocky and debt are so popular um success um the love of the music um that's the main thing um cool fm is a major part People like Dexterous helped me out in my early days with dub plates that you know I was smashing people with. King of the Jungle. So sit down in his yard. <laughs> uh, I'll give you that fiver later. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's just the love of the music, and um, I just love the music. So I mean, that love what we do. I appreciate it. It's the best job in the world. It's the best scene in the world, and the best ravers, and the best cameraman. <laughs> Pay me later for that. Yeah, I'll <laughs> Yeah, Alright, Dex, why do you think there's still demand for things like this, like Jungle Mania and these kind of jungle events? Um, I think it's important for, uh, for the young people to see where it all started and um, sort of bring it back home. Um, oh God, let me go back to, the, to the, why it's important. Yeah, it's good for people to, to know what the foundation is about, you know? And um, I'm not 100% sure what's happening in the scene as it is on a... On a on a sort of general basis, but coming back to something like it is like sort of walking into a into a sort of time walk, you know. And um, no, it's just really good to see. I think it's really good for the for the youngsters to kind of find out what the whole thing was about, what started the whole thing, and it's really great. I've yeah. seen just seen MB, just seeing Remark over yeah. there, and um, Foundation Man, you know. It's it's, it's right. really good, really good. And one behind the camera as well. It's the T-bone, you know? That's right, foundation. We'll interview you in a minute. <laughs> and the kids just need to know, most of the up-and-coming DJs, you know, they missed out on the jungle scene, so they want to get their history. So I think it's a great thing that they want to come out and come out to these sort of parties, the DJs and ravers, and get some history in them. And, and you know, and appreciate the people like Dextrous, yourself, me, all the artists here that have been in the game for 20 years, pushing the love and doing what we're doing. So I love it, you know? When I see a 16-year-old jumping out to jungle, to me, it's a beautiful thing. Because that's, that's going to pay bills and keep the music game for everybody else for years to come. So I can't knock that, I've got to love it. So Brocky, you've got a label, um, Undiluted, is that correct? That's right. Um, have you got any new stuff coming out that we should look out for? Um, yeah, the last one I had was um, a tune called Dog Hearted, and I'd be called Dangerous. Don't worry, we're Listen, don't worry what anyone says, Bro, Brocky is the Bro, best Bro, DJ. Don't, have respect. Brocky! Bro, don't, don't, don't keep messing up my energy, I beg. Right, let's we'll start again. That's just the man name, you know, he can't know, control know. him. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> Um, yeah, so um, the label undiluted. Yeah, I got some new stuff coming out soon. Um, we're going to take it a bit more on um, the next step is to take it more commercial, as in the word, not commercial, but more mainstream because we've got to, you know, we've got to spread it, spread the wings. I think the, um, the mainstream side of things ain't representing what's really happening in the rave scene at all. It's all dubstep, and um, there's nothing wrong with dubstep, but it's just not happening what's happening on the, on the roots. So I want to, I want to, yeah, we was there first, man. So I just want to. Um, take my label a bit more commercial wise and spread the wings you know okay dex what about you um are you back in the studio is anything new coming from you uh, you should know about that <laughs> we were doing a bit of a sneaky just the other day um no we're definitely going to get back on it i think it's high time we we return to to um where we kind of cut our teeth as producers you know so um yes we will be coming back with a few things um 
not just on the, uh, the the sort of drum and bass tip. Um, we're going to spread our wings in other areas as well. And um, we love music, you know, yeah, yeah, and that's awesome. why. Um, yeah, yeah it's, it's, all it's, about it's all about music. Not yeah. not, not um, putting put in a box or genders. About exactly. love all music, and we we grew up on all music: Thank reggae, soul, reggae yeah, groove, pop. You know what I mean? So when people say to me, "Oh, Brocky, oh, or Dexter, why are you make that music?" We're from all music, and, and I want the youngest ravers and the DMB to know worldwide. It's, you know, we know you love your thing, but it's about music. This scene would never be where it wasn't. It wasn't for sampling everyone's music. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's that, that's the whole essence of jungle. It's yeah. a melting pot of all yeah, our right. past sort of influences, you know. And um, yeah, that, that's how the whole jungle thing started. You know, it's the same way that um, hip hop evolved. You know, it's the same thing. That's our UK version of um, hip hop. So, yeah. okay, could you both give me some of your um, favourite jungle memories, Rocky? Um, wow. Oh, don't let me go. There. Um, jungle memories. My first memory I'll give you then will be um, I can only give you one that stands out. Two really, for me as an as, um, as an artist. Um, when I was playing um, at Rose, no, no, at, um, Paul I Beepers. Um, I beat for records years ago with a rocket. Me and Dex first time playing out, and um, there was two girls sitting behind us. And I think it's our first time playing. Out, I got eighty quid. I was over the moon. But anyway, that, but so there's two girls sitting behind us, and they came up to me and Dex and said to me and Dex, um, "You two are really good. You're going to get far." That was twenty years ago, and I'm still here. The next one was Kenny Ken, when I was up and coming again. He said the same thing. We wanted to tap my shoulder. and said, "You're quite good, mate." And I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Same to you. Um, one night that springs to mind, 